Good morning and welcome engineers. So in this video I will talk about my designs for capable large grid off-ground rovers. Uh, depending on your use of course you need a bigger or a smaller one and uh, the issue is the bigger they go the less well they handle off-road terrain when it gets complicated and hilly like this terrain here by the way this is the planet Elysium or Elysium that uh, Splitzy just started a new playthrough on and I saw him run in trouble with his rover because he got some wheels stuck in the terrain so I've been designing around to figure out which is the best design that allows to handle terrain and weight because the issue of large grid rovers is you're gonna have some large cargo containers on them and all kinds of machinery and equipment and you're gonna be adding some weight to them so let's start here because this I'll show you later what this is for this here is a very basic quite good off-road design the wheels are as close together as possible to avoid getting terrain underneath them or rip them off the thing is it's small and it's stiff so if you get in between a steep hill or two steep hills you only have four wheels touching the ground and even only this version with no industry on it can get stuck and it can fall over sideways quite easily so it's fun to drive around but it's uh, when you start loading it up with with uh, cargo it'll fail pretty soon so my next design which works quite nicely but not in these hills over here it cannot get through this hill on, on stuff like this it will get over it but as well as this one since it's stiff and a bit long too many wheels get airborne and it will fail on me and get stuck and that even without any cargo containers and any load on it so it's a fun thing to drive around but it 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 doesn't do the job the way that I expect so let's have a look at the weights this only weighs I think 400,000 no, 146,000. Now let's go and have a look at this weight. Here we are looking at 473. And we only we are we're only very basic design, no cargo containers, nothing. So it'll go up to a thousand tons quickly. And now this design came up with after a lot of testing this design has a lot of tilting suspension systems and I'll show you how well it performs and we'll have a look at the weight and it's fully equipped you see it's 870 tons it's not loaded it's uh, empty cargo containers And uh, when I load up two of the cargo containers, one with uh, iron ore and the other with ice, it goes up to 1.8, 1,800 tons. And that's when it gets a little bit complicated in this terrain as well. But when we have to cross terrain like that, we could always reduce the ice and reload afterwards if we have to cross a difficult pass. 
So, this one, as I said, handles quite well, gets through these cuts, gets over the heels, but can get stuck when coming through here and wanting to go up here. This one gets stuck pretty quick on everything because it's too stiff. And now let's have a look at this one. Oh, before I drive this one, I explain this wheel set here. This wheel set was an idea because with this wheel set, I still sometimes hit rocks and ripped off the wheels. So I came up with this wheel set. They're like even closer together. And this is heavy armor. So it can take quite a beating before you have to fix it up. And I use these with hinges to get them below this huge platform over there. This is one big, big platform. Lots of wheels, very heavy. But the only way to move it is with thrusters. Without thrusters, it just is too heavy. The wheels won't do uh, a lot. But it was quite good in, in uh, off-road. But I don't think it can handle this terrain here. It was just to show it off. So as you see here, these wheels are hinged underneath. And then since subgrade damage is off, they can handle a lot of damage before the, before, before the whole thing breaks. Let's get rid of it so that we can enjoy better frame rates oh yeah some missing mods and things fell off so let's have a look how this bad boy behaves let's have a look at the details first so i don't know how you would call these in english swing axles i call them so they can not move any higher but they can go 50 degrees down and this can go five degrees in so that it barely touches in here the wheel but it can go 45 degrees this way and all of them have only the inner hinges are switched on and the forces are set so that it barely is able to lift the vehicle because when i tried it first having the vehicle up in the air high on the hinges it didn't perform as well as when it's sitting down and the hinges activate when it's driving through a ditch but you'll see that in action right now Oops, breaks off see how it goes up that's because when we accelerate the nose tends to dip up so let's have a look you see barely it starts lifting which is fine that helps a lot in handling the terrain so now let's get set up to go through here and there's a little route that i'm going to go all the way up there and see if we can handle that now if we go too fast we will blow it up so we have to go with a little bit of care but not too much check this out how how smooth it goes through the cut a little bit of clang but no danger and it's a lot of fun because it really does well I mean usually you would avoid driving through terrain like that but I thought what's the fun in that we want to go straight through we don't want to have to look for a route we want to go and have some fun of course you have to go a bit slower but look how it snakes and crawls over the hills nice and slow and hugs the mountains and that's why it doesn't get stuck all the other ones would get stuck and all the weeds would be in the air but this is a lot of fun let's just keep driving and, and drive over and not around the hills of course there's limits when it gets too steep it may not get up let's see if it can handle this one 
usually a little bit of wiggling yeah see it, it gets up there it can get up there that was quite a steep hill there let's just keep going so yeah as you can see there's a lot of fun now they will be clanging when the when the center of the wheels hit a tree there will be some clang and I don't know if this would work in a server because of all the hinges. I don't know. I haven't tried. So let's keep going. Let's turn a little bit over there into the more difficult and rugged terrain. Let's see if we can get a nice shot of how the wheels behave. There. Have a look. How, we go, how they go up. And the other ones go down and almost always the wheels are on the ground so for now i call it 20 wheeler but i haven't come up with a good name yet see now we did get stuck but all we need to do is wiggle a little bit usually and it comes free looks like it's free already maybe not there you go it just changed the direction a little bit <clears throat> took a few seconds and she's free again and off we go now there's a lot of trees in this terrain but there's another nice little hill and off we go there was some tree clang and this tuck tuck noise, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe my computer. I don't know. I have to check that. It usually doesn't do it on the load, but starts after a few seconds, a few minutes of playing. So you see how steep that goes up? and it goes up without any trouble. So I admit uh, straight ahead, the grave rock side, I tried to go up that grave rock side and it couldn't get up there. I guess the, the rock is a little bit slippery, more slippery than the grass. So it didn't get up there. But as you can see, it does really well and I think it could manage this with one full cargo container but if you fill them all up it, it probably will have a hard time too and you might need to add thrusters to it so you see we're speeding up we're going up the hill pretty steep and we're doing 12 meters per second so it's really like it's big this vehicle is quite large you see me up there tiny <laughs> so it looks it go like it goes slow but no actually it's going pretty quick and it doesn't have trouble with the sideways uh, inclination it just hugs the, the mountains and the terrain really well and it hardly ever hits the ground. There was a little bit of smoke there. See now that it noses up. So I think this is a very successful design. Of course, the more you add, uh, let's see if we can get up here. This is really steep. The horizon isn't even visible anymore. And up she goes. It's pretty amazing. It is pretty, pretty amazing how well this vehicle does. So, now this terrain gets really bad here. So let's see if we can make it down in one piece. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I haven't tried. So let's see. Let's have some fun and go straight down this hillside. Really slow. 
This is really steep. Why don't we go down here? That looks even worse. Alright. Let's not accelerate too much. Because otherwise we get airborne. Oh, there's no gyros on it. I can barely keep the speed under control. So we better not let go of the brake. But as you can see, handled it well. No trouble. Really fun to drive. There was a bit of clang. You see, we hit a tree with a with a center of the wheel base. Oh, let's try and slow down because that can rip off the wheel. No, we got lucky. <laughs> so let's see if we can make it in one piece back to the lake. Now, this vehicle is awesome, and I drove more than 200 kilometers with it all over this planet and hardly broke anything and I had two containers loaded but in this terrain I had to unload the containers to do the testing and see if we could get through because when they were full I couldn't get up that mountain too heavy let's get this pretty hill there that uh, looks fun uh oh we're a bit too fast there trying to get a good angle Whoa, there, maybe there, there, check it out, almost hit the nose, let's see if she can handle that, and, oh, 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 yes she can, it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing, whoa, that was really bad, that was a really dangerous one, and still, on we go. Oh my god, it is, it is really stunning how well, how well this vehicle performs. So, there you have it. Quite successful design. This is, by the way, I think this is the seventh version I built. I tried all kinds of different hinged uh, suspensions. But usually they, they would blow up on me and uh, I honestly don't know why they would blow up and then I came up with this design which is not so different to the others and it stopped blowing up on me so I stuck with it and I keep working on it and finishing the design adding some more detail to it drills you know the the usual stuff so let me know what you think about the performance of this large grid off-road rover. I think it's pretty, pretty amazing. I think we just damaged, yep, now we went too fast, you see. If you go too fast against the hill, you'll break something. I didn't pay attention, went too fast, and there you have it. So you, yeah, you can break it. You gotta be a little bit careful when you go up these hills and the speed. Well, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.